Okay, so we're looking at playing on the black notes with the bowed psaltery. Um, this video is for my student Beverly. If you're not Beverly and you don't have the music, here it is. You can screenshot that and get it. So um, Lock Loman is already up on my YouTube channel and we're going to do RLE now. Um, and I have been told that strictly music theory, this ought to, instead of um, D flat, this ought to be in the key of G flat because we end on a G. And instead of a B natural, that would be a C flat, but I'm not going to renotate it. <laughs> this is how I've got it. And the C flats are, I don't want to have to explain that. So that's a B natural. <laughs> and we're going to, all the, so all the black notes are being played. We got G, A, B, D, and E are all flat. So they're all the black notes. So I'm going to play through it. Um, explaining as I go the first time. So we're going to start with our right bow and the reason I'm doing that is because we have this interval jump to start with. If I did um, t the typical all the black notes with my left bow and all the white notes with my right bow, I'd be starting off with this interval jump and you, the, you're you always going to have just even a little bit of a, um, of a, of a of a space between getting to those two notes because you're getting from this one up there. So if you start with your right bow on that D flat, there's no, there's no, um, there's no gap between playing those two notes. You can immediately play the left bow. And so then if we start with the right bow and then the left bow on the G, then our right bow is free to play the F natural. So here we go. And we leave the left bow here because it's playing next. The, when we put uh, the right bow to the A flat, we're going to leave it there. And again, I'm doing a back and forth rather than going and do those jumps. It's going to have just the ever slight gap between playing the A or the E. So we're going to go Leave this bow here on the A since playing again. Then leave your right bow on the F because you're playing it again. And just move your left bow back and forth from the G flat to E flat back to the G flat. And now we repeat that line. Leave this bow on your A flat because you're playing it again. Then leave with the right bow on the F as your left bow goes around it. Then we've got the B flat. Ready for the B natural. Then leave this bow on the A flat. And then play your F with your right bow. Now when you've, you're playing this last F with your right bow, you want to make sure you get this B with a down bow so that your up bow and then a down bow on the G flat. Okay, so start with the right bow. Keep your right bow on that F and move your left bow around it. Get your right bow ready on the B. Okay, now I'm going to play it without talking and play it kind of slow so you can play along with me. But that first time especially, I want you to watch what I'm doing. Watch which bow is playing. 
Okay, and so now this time I'm playing it, I'm not going to talk, and you can play along with. So there you go. And if you recognize that tune, yes, Elvis Presley used the Appalachian Mountain tune R. Lee to make his song Love, Love Me Tender. So there you go. Have fun with it. And I'll see you next time.